Hello, and welcome back to another Breezy Cast. Uh, today I got a special game for you guys. Another banger. Hopefully, I haven't actually watched this replay yet, so um, uh, I will be watching it for the first time with you guys. Uh, today we got BTU, which was better than you, uh, versus uh, Toss and Nuck. Uh, I believe they they pretty much played together in these tournaments. Um, so let's take a look. We got, let me introduce our players. We got a novice toss on the bottom in the red playing as arm. And here on the right, we got Nug115 playing uh, in the white as arm. Um, no surprise there. Probably everybody's going to be playing arm. And uh, on the top here, we got BTU uh, Yorn, uh, AKA Natus. Or as we know him now as Frieza. And uh, here on the left, in the yellow, we have Vapor playing as Arm. So everybody's playing as Arm. Um, so this style of map, um, it's actually, it's quite different. Than, it's a very reclaim heavy map. As you can see, there's a bunch of um, reclaim on this map to grab. Usually you start out with the small Rex to give yourself a really quick metal boost to get more cons out. And then you start going for these bigger Rex. And then what you're gonna wanna do is start getting out your metal storages to store all this metal because there's no way you're gonna be able to spend it that fast. So you do need to have some storages like 6,500 metal. You don't, I think you start with like 1,000 space. So you do need to have some metal storages to grab these bigger Rex. Uh, without wasting the metal. So let's take a look at what Vapor's doing here. He's got one con out. And it looks like he's already sending a Jeffy uh, do some scouting, maybe get a little rating done. And he's got two Samson, so he's got good um, Jeffy defense on his side. And he's gonna send out one flash, do a little bit of rating, and more cons. Let's take a look at what Yorn is doing. So he's Already getting another factory out, which is, yeah, I think that's, you just want to start getting as many factories out as possible. He's going to start grabbing these, um, like 1800, uh, 2000s, 800. So like 1000 to 2000s is probably what he's going to want to grab at the moment until he gets more metal storages, but he's just reclaiming toss, getting his second. He's already on his third factory now, and he's starting to build queue up metal storages and wins with his cons. Um, and, oh wait, that was Nug. Uh, Toss is, let's see, he's building, he's got three cons out. He's trying to defend, uh, Vapor's little raid here, which he should be able to clean up. Yeah, he's got the flash there. should take that out. So yeah, these guys are going to start reclaiming these big wrecks, and then, uh, you're going to see a bunch of factories here queued up really, really fast. And you do can fight for the sea as there is uh, underwater mexes here on this map uh, in total annihilation you do have two resources kind of like in starcraft where you have minerals and gas um, in total annihilation you are fighting for metal and energy um, metal is definitely the more s sparse resource that you you fight for um, but later in the game, energy, well, they, it's kind of like a balancing act between the two. You can't really do, you can't really spend one without the other, so. Looks like Vapor's going to get a second vehicle plan out. Yeah, see, now you're just going to start rows and rows of factories. Um, usually want to have one uh, plant on cons. Uh, for this type of map because it just scales so fast you just you need the build power you need you need the construction units to just grow at a rapid pace with with all this metal that you're reclaiming and uh, it looks like every player is doing that and nug is already on six factories uh yorn's on five Um, this is an OTA game, so it was played uh, somewhere between 2003 to 2000, 
eight. I don't know the exact year, but I will, I'll figure that out for you guys. Um, and put it in the description in the video later. But it is a 2v2 CBL game, tournament game. Oh, Vapor doing a good job. He defended his, uh, his cons from dying. So like when you do raiding like this, like, like Toss is doing, he's, he's looking for these cons out here that are reclaiming. Cause if you can hinder his, slow down his reclaim, you know, and keep yours going, you will know, it's a good way to get an advantage over your opponent. So far, it seems everybody's spending their metal quite well. Yorn's got no metal in the bank, spending every drip, every drop of metal. And he's reclaiming a big wreck right here, 6,500 metal. So once he gets that, um, he'll be just fine. Yes, yeah, so see these, these types of games scale up really quickly, um, just with all the metal that you get early, so. Should be an action-packed game. Looks like Yorn's putting the pressure on. I don't know, we can see, see some D-guns already, let's go. He's trying not to D-gun his own stuff, so he's being pretty careful with that. Oh, looks like Yorn's gonna hit this con. So, nice little pickup there from Yorn. Uh, let's take a look at what Novice is doing. So yeah, he's just more flashes. Um, this is pretty much uh, the unit to make in OTA. Uh, it's the flash was just uh, better than every other unit, pretty much. But there's some exceptions to that. You can see uh, because Samson's actually do quite well um, once you get the big enough ball. But that's typically what you saw in most of these OTA games is flash spam. So, Novice working on advanced. Uh, I do like what Vapor's doing here, getting into C. I think C is uh, going to be quite strong on this map. Not only for, like, just to raid the shores and stuff, but just uh, the economy you can get from C. Right, let's take a look at the top here. Oh. Yorn returned in the favor with the D-guns. And he's got a nice, nicely placed uh, heavy laser tower, which deals with these flashes quite well. Um... So I do like the unit composition that Nug's going for. He's going for uh, some K-Bots. Rocco's and Storm's are very strong. They're probably the best unit that you can make out of those K-Bot uh, laps in OTA. And uh, when I say OTA, that's it's basically just, it, it's not like a mod, it's just the original game. No. Oh, you aren't really pushing in there. Nice D guns from uh, 115. They should stop that attack. Let's take a look over here. Novice has got a nice little raid here on the side. But uh, Vapor is sending some units to cut this off. And he's pulling back his flashes to deal with this. And then he'll probably do a nice little counter attack. Vapor going for advance. I do like the air here. You can get air cons and just it makes it easier to reclaim these bigger wrecks uh, quickly as they're the most mobile. So, yeah, something a trick you could do in OTA is you can actually jam the factories up like Novice is doing here. So, you can. Um, 
and it now he can't get any units out of this factory until he sends a con over here to reclaim this. Um, I believe in Pro TA and the other TA mods that they have now, uh, units come out of both sides, so it's kind of hard to do this jamming thing anymore. But, yeah, nice little trick you could do back then to s just slow your opponent's production. Because the unit will literally just be trapped in there, and then you can't do nothing until it's reclaimed. Okay, looks like you got some sea wars going on. You got uh, skeets here from Vapor, while Novice is... Uh, Okay, so he's building skis now, and he's going to advance shipyard right away. I like this, since basically you have infinite amount of metal here to play with. Um, looks like he only got the big wrecks left, which is, yeah, you do want to save those for last. So it looks like a Vapor and Novice will be fighting over the sea. Novice building over, starting to take these uh, these metal spots here, so that I'll actually give him a little bit of you know a little bit of income to help with, uh, so he doesn't burn through so much metal so quickly. Um, it looks like Yorn has taken the backside here, and he's already rushing for a big Bertha, and he's making Farks, um, which is like late game build power right here. They reclaim super fast. Got a nice attack here from Novice. Let's see if he can break through. I think Vapor's got enough here to hold on. So and the thing with this is all now Vapor gets pretty much control of all this reclaim here. Um, so all this metal will pretty much be his under his control. So that's free metal just sitting on Vapor's doorstep. Um, and also start, it causes kind of a traffic jam. Uh, the pathing is not as good in OTA as it is now. Uh, I, I believe they've changed some things to make the path being like infinitely better uh, in the in the new mods that they have now. Uh, so when you have wrecks like this, it really causes a traffic jam. And units can't really get through that wall. Looks like Vapor's got a nice army of skeets here to do some raiding. And Nug is already rushing into Colossus. So you spam Colossus for energy. They give you like 250, I think, somewhere around there. Maybe more, maybe less. Uh, and uh, let's see, Nug is getting advanced K-Bot. Probably for Farks and Fusions and stuff like that. And he's got advanced vehicles as well. Usually this will switch into uh, Fusion and Moho Metal Maker, or yeah, Moho Metal Maker Spam, which is kind of how you, you you make energy to get metal, pretty much. You use con like energy converters, and that's how you grow your economy in the late game. Nice little fight here. Uh, Vapor definitely has got a lot more skeets, so he's going to stop uh, Novice from taking those. Uh, expanding to those mexes here. Got a nice little stalemate here on the top between Yorn and Nug 115. Novice slowly starting to grow towards uh, Vapor's base. And now looks like Vapor's raiding Nug 115 in the sea with his skeets. And uh, looks like 115 is going to respond with some subs. Um, to deal with those skeets. I'm not sure how much titles give you on this map, but it's probably pretty good. So it looks like Yorn's uh, Big Bertha. I mean, look at this a little bit. Almost done. And uh, that will be in range to hit pretty much all this stuff, I believe. So I'm sure uh, Yorn will get some scouts out pretty soon to uh, 
scout 115's base to see what, what, what he's up to. I like what Vapor's doing here, getting some uh, HLTs up, some Sentinels. This will stop pretty much any kind of flash spam from, get, from getting through into the, the goodies here in the back, the resources. And it'll give him control of these wrecks that are right in his doorstep. But the office has got a plan, and that is, like I was talking about, fusions, Moho Meta Makers, and it looks like Big Bertha's are on the way for novice. Um, and that looks like Big Bertha started for 115, and he's making bombers, so he's preemptively thinking about people building Big Bertha's, because that's kind of how you deal with them. And Yorin's already making his second one, and he's starting his fusion production. No advanced tech on, on land for Vapor just yet. Oh, and he's got a sub here. I didn't even realize this. Let's turn sonar on. All right. Apologies for that. Um, so actually, when I typed dot sonar to show you the sub that's coming here for... Uh, for novice, it actually crashed my game, and I tried typing at the beginning of the game when I reloaded the replay, and it, it just won't let me do it without crashing. So, uh, sorry about that, but you won't be able to actually see the sub um, uh, for this replay, which is uh, unfortunate. But the sub is uh, seems to pop favor by surprise, but he should be able to deal with it. Oh, he's targeting the sub in the shipyard right now, and he does take it out. Meanwhile, on the land here, just never-ending flashes going towards this. Uh, see how it's getting starting to get clogged up here, like I was talking about? And you can see what Va uh, Va Vapor's trying to do. He's trying to degun the sub, which you can do. It's kind of hard to pull off, but um, if you... Uh, degun like close to your com and let that little degun spread spread out you can actually hit hit the sub with it and kill it so he's trying to get a torp launcher up to deal with it um, oh but now he's targeting the torp launcher so Vapor's gonna have to do it with his com and let's see what uh, the top guys are doing so he's still trying to get his big bertha up Meanwhile, uh, Yorin's already working on his second, and he's got scouts. So he should be scouting his opponent pretty soon. And here are the Hawks. That's what I was looking for. It's like, when are they going to switch into Hawks here? And it looks like they're going to start that pretty shortly here. Man, these subs are doing a lot of dam damage here from Novice. He's taking out all the sea, ro uh, sea resources that uh, Vapor made. So, pretty big economic hit. Uh, for uh, Vapor here. Meanwhile, Novice building Colossus, Fusions, building up pretty well. And he's getting a big birth of his own. Um, and that'll help him start take out all this production here, take out these Sentinels maybe to help get his flashes through. Ah, uh, yeah, these subs are really a nightmare, but now Vapor's got a Torp launcher here, and he can continue building sea resources here. And now he's making his own subs to uh, fight off novices. So uh, Vapor will be fine in the sea for now. Here we've got a big land push here on the top. Yeah, see how unit, like, units just they're 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 getting stuck. He's, he's making his way through, though. These Rockos are doing very well. All right, let's see what his his big birth is targeting. Let's see, is he targeting his? Oh no, he's shooting at the water at the moment. I think once he sends his scouts in. Be able to target some uh, some T uh, some T 
some key uh, factories here, like this advanced plant. Uh, you can definitely try to hit this big Bertha that's now up for 115. Uh, a vapor making a guardian now, um, which has it's a uh, basically like a long range uh, battery that'll keep this little creep that novice is doing on the land here. It'll it'll keep that creep at bay. See how like novice is slowly pushing forward, sentinels getting closer to uh, this will help combat that and uh, push them away. I mean, good amount of reclaim here for Vapor, which is always nice, especially if you've burned through all of your reclaim on the land. It seems like Vapor's got a few big ones left, and so does Novice. I think Novice is definitely uh, the furthest ahead on economy. He's already got working on Fusion 3 and 4. Uh, Yorn's on... Still trying to build his first one, and they've all run out of Rex to reclaim. Uh, 115 still got a few left, but no fusions. So eventually, this game's just going to come down to like uh, reclaiming Rex, uh, like land Rex from your uh, your flashes and stuff. Which uh, Vapor has a ton right here in his control, so that, that'll feed him for a while. Vapor does have advanced K-Bot now, and he is working on uh, advanced air, most likely for Hawks. Uh, Hawks were pretty much the go-to back in OTA. Uh, we got an invader here for Yorn, so it looks like he's planning to do some Roach Bombs. And um, if you guys don't know, if you're new here, you don't know what that is. So you can put this invader in one of these tra air transports called an Atlas, and you load it up and then you fly it in. The key here is to self-destruct it before it dies, because the self-destruct is what does the big damage. And then it just, it's like a huge bomb AOE. You can basically take out all these Rockos right here with the Roach Bomb, if he times it right. So, pretty cool thing to catch if I can, you know, catch him, do, spot him doing it. Which he looks like he's loading up one right now. Looks like he plans to blow up some land units, I think. I think it's a very strong, effective way to do it, since there is no anti-air in this mix of units. So he could definitely blow it up in time, self-destruct it before it gets shot down. Oh, Novice's Big Birth is up. And he's working on a second one. Let's see how, uh, we'll see how Vapor starts to respond to that. Gonna need some bombers to take care of the, the big berthas. But you could make some advanced bombers out of this aircraft plant. <clears throat> so yeah, it looks like Yorn's gonna start massing these these roaches. Alright, okay, here we go. We're gonna catch one live here. Oh wait, where's he sending it? Oh, too far. So he sent it way too far there. I think he was trying to go for something more down here. Maybe like queued it up like a Q. All right, so Yorn's starting to attack some juicy targets here. He's going for the uh, the K-Bot Labs. And Nug-115 is going to build Pelicans. So this is like your amphibious K-Bot. Probably one of my favorite units in the game. It looks like Yorn has made one as well. This is what a Pelican looks like. But they can go on water and land. And it uh, looks like Yorn's actually doing some raiding here with some Pels. Oh, and actually I didn't even notice Nug has fusions here in the back. I think economically, Team Nug Toss is in, in a better spot economically. They have more uh, fusions and Moho Metal Makers in total. Looks like 115 starting to push in here. There's a lot of flashes, but 
Uh, Yorin's got HLTs in place in good spots to uh, hold this front line here. Uh oh, something's happening. Let's see. Let's read the chat. Oh, they're complaining about uh, lag here, which is understand. Like this is this game is probably from 2000s, early 2000s. Um, so they weren't played on the best PCs. We did not have the best internet connections. Everything was pretty laggy then. We're all playing on old computers with small resolutions. Um, so lag was um, pretty big issue then. Some players would lag a lot more than others. Um, I myself, I could not even play team games back then because uh, my computer was so bad and I didn't get a new computer until uh, way later than most people. Uh, I remember games I'd play, I'd be two minutes behind, two minutes plus behind game time on big 1v1 maps, which is um, really bad. My computer just could not keep up with the game and then it would slow down the whole game. Um, it was not a, not a good time, so I had to stick with smaller 1v1 maps um, until I basically got a new computer, which was about when I was like 17 or 18. Or well, maybe earlier, no, 16. I think I got 16 or 17 yeah, when I bought my own PC. You're really starting to do some damage with these, uh, with the big Berthas. Oh, but it looks like Nug has spotted it. Uh, spotted Yorn's BB. Both of them. And it looks like Yorn's gonna nano block. So nano blocking is when you build something in front like this, and this little nano here uh, will actually absorb shots, so you can just keep putting that in front of the big Bertha to keep it alive. And it looks like Yorn took out um, 115's BBs here. He had one like somewhere around here. Looks like he killed it, but he has another one here. Uh, looking good for Nug Toss here. They just have way more economy. And you can you can really start to see that. It's starting to pay off now. Uh, but Vapor's got a good amount of economy in the sea, and he's starting to get his big birthers up now too to fight off. Uh, novices, Big Birth is here. See, he's, he's taken out all the land factories here, so now Vapor doesn't really have any way to build units to stop this push here, so now he's going to have to spam Sentinels instead. Yeah, looks like the units are all clogged up right here in this spot. Oh, and it looks like 115 took out one BB here, and he's working on the other one. And I don't think I don't think Yorn knows where this one is too. So a nice sneaky one. Actually, he took some hits. So we're in a BB race here. Uh, Yorn's set up better to protect his though, as he's got multiple cons guarding out. Oh, oh. <laughs> So yeah, Trout Farm, uh, they just turned into, uh, BB Wars were pretty standard here on this map, as they can, especially 2v2. 1v1 plays out a little bit different, but kind of the same concept, because you have to fight for these uh, side islands in 1v1, or these uh, little side land here is where, for, where all the wrecks are. Looks like Nug's got another BB out, and he is working on bombers too, so he's building everything he can to take out these big Berthas, and he's got Yorn's fusions marked for bombing. Let's take a look at what Vapor's up to here. Still trying to get that big Bertha up, but Novice is staying on top of it. Killed the one that he was building, so he's trying to build another one, and Vapor's working on Hawks. Novice really starting to put the pressure on the sea, though. He's got 
Crusaders and Skeeters. And honestly, nobody else really has that much in the sea. Uh, Yorn does have pelicans, though. So that'll keep them from... Keep them safe for a little bit here. A little worried for Vapor's resources if he comes, like... He comes around this way and hits, hits these from the back. Which he could do. Well, it looks like 115's making a move here. He's trying to push in. But Yorn putting Dragon's Teeth in front of these uh, heavy laser towers, which pretty much stops the Rockos from hitting them and the Flashes. So pretty well defended there. I don't know. I kind of like what Yorn's doing. He kind of just went around those and just tried to attack stuff that's building back here instead. But 115's going to react to that now and send his units over there. Oh, Yorn does get the big berth of those here. And now he's focusing on this one. And his BB is live and he's building another one. You can tell players are struggling a little bit for economy. But um, Novice and Nug are definitely ahead economically by a big margin. 187, 111 for 115. Uh, Yorn's on around 80-ish, and I think Vapor's around like 60-something. 60, 60 so uh, Team BTU definitely behind on the economy. But doing very well with what he's got. Like, this big berth is doing a lot more. And these Pels are going to be trouble. So actually, he can snipe this big berth, though. Does he see it? Yes, he does see it. Nice. So he should be able to take that out, unless maybe 115 can send some Farks to repair it. You can save it, Nug. Save it. Uh, doesn't, I don't know if he notices these are even here. Oh, and it blows up. Oh, here you go. This is what I was talking about. Novice is starting to push in with the Crusaders. And these sea resources don't stand a chance. And that's that's a lot of Vapor's energy, man. That's, that's going to that's gonna cripple it. You're insane to keep in there. Yeah, because uh, his Big Berth is doing a lot of damage. Uh, I think you aren't managing his big berth a lot better than 115, but 115 still got a huge economy back here, which I believe is out, out of range for those big berths that he's building in his base. Um, but he has taken out all, look at that, he's taken out all the land factories that were here. So now, I don't know, it's going to be a tricky one, but... Vapor does have Hawks, um, and there's not a lot of anti-air here. I mean, he's got five Skeets. If he can kill the Skeets, he can slowly clear out these Crusaders. And then there's just a lot of wrecks here for Nick on Vapor's doorstep. These land, these BBs here, really putting in a number on Vapor's base. Like, they're slowly just starting to kill all the defense here. And, uh... Honestly, I think if Novice just starts sending some flashes in again, uh, he can break through this. Maybe even Samson's would be better because uh, it'll help against the Hawks. Like a mixture, flashes and Samson's. Um, but it looks like, yeah, look, Novice is really starting to look at all these fusions, bro. He's ecoed up like a madman. And now he's got four or five, working on number five here, advanced air, just pumping out hawks. Oh, novice raiding the backside with his hawks. Basically undefended back here, no, well, here's some missile towers over here. Yeah. Novice slowly suffocating, uh, it's kind of like sandwiching uh, Vapor here. Oh, Vapor's got his commander cloaked. 
He's trying to stay safe, but I don't know. It's looking pretty rough. He doesn't have a lot of anti-air here. Uh, does Jorn have any Hawks to save him? Not really. He's only got a couple. Man, Novice can he, like uh, Novice is probably one of my favorite uh, old school players. Like this guy can build; he's an absolute beast at building. Like he's just absolutely huge compared to everybody else. Mug 115, not too far behind him, but. Um, I don't see how Vapor can defend this anymore. Yeah, those Hawks basically just took out everything, and now Novice is going to start pushing towards Yorn, and this is in Crusader range, this big Bertha. Um, where are his Pelicans at? Alright, they're coming back now to... I wonder if... Will Novice ground fire that big Bertha? Oh, the Big Berthas are turning to shoot the Crusaders. And here goes Novice. He's sending some scouts over. And honestly, that Big Berth is toast if he targets it. Well, I mean, uh, Dorn's doing a good job at defending here. The Pels have arrived, and he does have some Hawks here. Should be able to clean that up. Good amount of wrecks there left for Bjorn. Oh shit, but down goes Vapor. Uh, looks like he sent more flashes and Hawks over there to finish him off. And it looks like Nug is launching a nuke. Oh, here it is. He's got a retaliator. So here comes the nuke. It's heading straight for that Bertha. Oh, he nu he's nuking the fusion. Boom! Now, does he bomb the Bertha? Oh, a little bit of lag here. Novice slowly wearing him down with the Hawks. Oh, and here comes uh, the second pass for the bombers. Oh, it's still alive. Both the, both the big Berthas are still alive. One goes down. I missed it. Dang it, I keep missing all the good stuff. Novice slowly just working his way in with the Hawks. Um, Yorn says a GG through enemy chat. And uh, Ta Novice Ta says GG. Same with Nug115. Nug saying, well done. Yeah. Um, well played to uh, Toss and Nug as they uh, they take the W over uh, BTU uh, let's see if we can get into the score screen here so if you like today's cast uh, like comment and subscribe guys um, so apparently like 70% of you guys aren't subscribed. Uh, so if you do like the casts, you enjoy them. Um, that'd be one way to, uh, support me and, uh, the videos that I create. So, and, uh, I would love to hear your feedback on the games, uh, and what you guys want to see next. I do have some Protier team games lined up. So if you like watching those big, huge team game battles and stuff that is coming so um, I look forward to doing that and I do look forward to cast more of these uh, CBL 2v2 tournament games uh, I think they're a lot of fun and it's it's always awesome to watch some of these uh, uh, I, I wish a lot of these players were still around I mean Yorn 
AK Frieza, he's still around. Vapor's, Vapor's around now too, um, which is awesome. It's glad to see these guys come back and um, play some pro TA. Okay, well, I've rambled on long enough, so I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.